There's nothing wrong with the smoked salmon, avocado and boiled egg lunch. But what if you want to be fancy? Can we take these same ingredients and transform this plate into a work of art without too much extra effort? Spoiler alert, yes we can. For this lunch today, we've got some boiled eggs, a handful of fresh mesclun lettuce greens, some toasted multigrain bread, cold smoked salmon slices, and an avocado. Let's get the eggs shelled and the avocado peeled ready to use. Eggs, avocado and toast make a great basic lunch. Today I'm fencing it up with the addition of smoked salmon. I've put a little bit of thought into this plate but there's room for a whole lot more. The bread has been angle sliced and it's overlapping to make it a bit more interesting. The egg is cut in half to expose the inner colour. Here's the salmon, or you could use bacon or smoked chicken instead if you like. The avocado is cut to create a bit of intrigue, and the greens add a garnish and colour to the plate. There's nothing wrong with this, but let's start on a new plate with the same ingredients and see how we can elevate this meal. I've got some toast straight out of the toaster and I'll butter it so that it all melts in. Let's see what we can do with the avocado. To make it more decorative you can fan it out or slice and roll it. It's a great canvas for creativity. You can make rose like spirals by rolling up thin slices of avocado. Make sure it's perfectly ripe though. If it's still firm, this won't work. Don't these look great? The best thing is that it's actually very easy and quick to do, yet it looks sophisticated. It's always good to start plating with a central point. This doesn't necessarily need to be the centre of the plate though, it's just a starting point. When plating, it's easier to have a starting point and work your way out from there. I'm going to cut the toast into fingers so it's in keeping with the dainty style of this lunch. I'm also overlapping them to create visual appeal. Next we've got the salmon. Think about how you can add the ingredients decoratively. Is there any folding or rolling or twisting you can do that can elevate the presentation? Instead of leaving the salmon slices flat on the plate, you can fold them or roll them however you like. Anything will look better than leaving it flat. It's the special part of this dish and it deserves to stand out. I'm also sitting the little bundles on the toast because it's the focal point of this dish. On to the lettuce garnish. Choose where you want to put your lettuce greens. You could place a bundle on the plate, but if you're more selective you can add a few leaves here and there to fill in little gaps and add colour all over the dish. Are there any other little additions that'll make this plate look better? Yes, I've got some black sesame seeds. Look how they tie in with the plate colour. This plate looks great and a whole lot fancier than the first option, just like this. But if time allows and you want to take it a step further, you can add some sort of sauce component. This gives you more scope for creativity and adds another layer of flavour to the plate. I decided to make a mango puree. All I did was blitz up some pieces of tinned mango. I think the slightly sweet and fruity flavours will pair well with the avocado and salmon for a little hint of fruitiness. Depending on the look you're going for, you can put your sauce into a squeezy bottle. This gives you a lot more control for more delicate designs. Before using a squeezy bottle, it's a good idea to test it on something first. Oh dear. I forgot that mango can be a bit stringy, so that's affecting my piped dots. I'll strain the puree through a fine sieve to get rid of the stringy bits. This should give me much cleaner dots. 
That's so much better. I'm going to dot this in little groups around the plate. A combination of big and smaller dots also adds a bit of variety. I'm a bit disappointed with the colour of the puree. I was hoping it would be a bit more vibrant on the black plate. So next time, I think I'll mix the puree into a little mayonnaise. This should give a brighter colour. There's nothing different in the cooking process of this lunch. The difference is all in the way they're plated and presented. All I've added is a mango puree for the sauce component and a few black sesame seeds. This is just one way of recreating this dish, but the principles are the same if you were recreating any dish. If you're looking for some more plating inspiration, check out this video where we make and plate a simple entree a couple of different ways. See you over there!